from Be The Difference. Um, I'm here today, I'm going to talk about hygiene. This is a very important topic that we rarely talk about as a community. And I think it stops at grammar school, preschool. Um, so I'm talking about this because for the last week and some change, I've been, in my opinion, deathly ill. And it's because people just are not doing the proper things to be hygienic. Um, I don't know where I picked this up from or what's going on. I mean, I'm on antibiotics right now, so I should be better soon. I mean, I wish I could be better like right now. I have a smashing headache and it's, it's, it's really bad. Um, I have not been ill like this in at least five years or so. So, you know, I'm very upset about this. Um, so yes, we need to talk about hygiene people. Um, I'm not going to debate with you about how often you should shower. My recommendation is at least once or twice a day, uh, depending on how many times you change your clothing. That could be, you know, that's my measure, but you may have a different measure. But, you know, forget all that. Let's talk about washing our hands. You say washing your hands. Let me tell you, I had a conversation when I was back in college uh, with one of my friends who said uh, the reason why they didn't wash their hands after going to the restroom is because they didn't touch themselves. Are you kidding me? Because you didn't touch yourself? Listen, as soon as you hit the bathroom stall, when you turn that knob, it's already been soiled. So my recommendation is when you get into the bathroom stall, rip a tiny piece of paper off, use that to lock your door, and then discard it into the toilet. Use the restroom, one, two, three, whichever one has to come. Clean yourself, flush the toilet with your foot. If you're in a public restroom, use your foot. And then unlock the door, go to the sink, press that soap or whatever comes out, put it under there, soap, whatever it is, and wash your hands. Let your hands soak under some water for at least five or 10 seconds. Let it thorough, not no little finger rub. Don't do the little finger. Do the whole hand, submerge the hand and wash it. Okay, then you take the paper towel, you dry your hands. And to even be more safe for those who um, slip through the cracks and don't wash their hands, you take that paper towel that you use to clean your beautiful hands off, use it to, un to open up that bathroom door, and then discard it to whatever bathroom, to whatever trash can you can find on your way out of the bathroom, okay? That's number one. Start washing your hands after you use the bathroom. This will eliminate a whole lot of diseases that are going around right now, simple colds and all of that other stuff. And the hand sanitizer is a beautiful thing, but stop using it as soap and water, as a substitute. This is not a substitute. Use soap and water. That's the, the best way to get all of these germs out of here. So I don't get sick. <clears throat> okay. Now that we've learned that it's very important to wash our hands, it is also very important when there's a public facility that's having a, an event and they have tongs, to get bread or cookies or whatever. Use the tongs the, for the bread or the cookies. Nobody wants to touch that stuff after you barehanded touch everything else. Talk about some, oh, I'm only taking one. No, use the tongs. The tongs will help you take one. <clears throat> See, I'm coughing because I'm still sick. <clears throat> 
You know, I, 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 the reason why I'm so irritated it is, is because my health is my wealth. If I cannot feel good, if I don't feel good, then I can't work. If I can't work, then I can't create. If I can't create, then I'm going to be dormant and I'm going to be very upset. And for the past few weeks, uh, about a week and some change, I have not felt myself at all because I picked up a nasty little disease that somebody didn't wash their hands. Simple. How hard is it? We are all adults. I'm going to start holding every single last one of you accountable. Stop spreading your germs. We don't need it. We already have, our bodies already have to fight the open air stuff. Stop spreading it. Use tongues in public facilities. Use the restroom and wash your hands. Even when you're, even when you're cooking, if you're touching raw food, wash your hands after you touch the raw food and then touch all the other stuff. Like, come on, people. We're adults. If you are a minor, you also should be very aware of this. But adults, I'm sick and tired of seeing other women walk out of the restroom without washing their hands. It's disgusting. You're spreading germs and it's disgusting. Stop. And with that food too, stop. Because I see you guys. And then it turns me off from wanting anything. And he talk about I'm a germy phobe. Man, I will be a germ e every day for the rest of my life if it means that I will not be sick again. <clears throat> and yes, I'm going to start calling people out. Stop leaving your nasty germs for everyone else to get sick. Some people may never recover, and I better recover, because if I don't, I'm going to be very upset. Okay? So anyway, hopefully this is going to be the last irritating type of tone of voice that I use in a video, but it's necessary. Stop spreading your germs. Wash your hands. Take a shower. Use tissue to blow your nose. You know what I'm saying? Um, use the tongs instead of your bare hands because you know what? We all do nasty things, right? So like, who knows? You you may indirectly pick your nose and forget that you picked your nose and then you want to go bare hand, get a cookie. That someone else is going to come behind and use the tongue, but because they didn't realize you used your bare hands, they picked up the cookie after you. Guess what? Now they're sick. So come on, people. Start being more conscious of other people's health. Okay? I'm going to leave it at that because I'm sure I can go on for hours about all of the diseases and the germs that we're spreading around because we can't do simple things. Simple things as using soap and water is all we need to do. Soap and water. Hand sanitizer does not substitute soap and water. And if you want to go deeper with the hand sanitizer, once you wash your hands, the hand sanitizer goes into our water supply, which then converts into something that we end up drinking. Yes, it's filtered, but does everything get filtered? No. So come on, people. Let's be safe, let's protect each other, and let's do the right thing. Thank you. I hope that you have a great week. And um, I hope that now, if you've not learned how to um, sanitize and be hygienic um, when it comes to, you know, cleanliness, I hope I, I hope I instilled a little something in you. There's one other thing I forgot to mention about washing of the hands. So like, all right, you say, oh, I'm overreacting. Okay, so somebody doesn't wash their hands, right? Then they want to prepare something for you with their bare hands. But you didn't know they didn't wash their hands. And they just came from the bathroom too, right? Right? Or they want to come in and, and touch your face. Like, oh, you're so beautiful. Or they want to shake your hand, right? And then you go in and take something to eat with your bare hand because you thought that they were clean. No, people. It's serious. So we do need to do something about this. Start washing your hands. Start washing your hands.
I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep on saying this, okay? Maybe I'll do a few a few tutorials on how to do this, uh, how to wash your hands after you use the bathroom, okay? We'll do that one day, okay? But for now, I'll see you later.